I'm Tom from Do It Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at setting up my brand new Fitbit Sense smartwatch in the Fitbit app. Um, so you can see I'm in here in my app. I just started from the main screen, and I just literally got the Fitbit Sense today. I'm one of the first people in the world to get my hands on one. Um, and I'm going to be reviewing it here on my channel and also on 1.0 at Medium, so um, 1.0.medium.com. Follow along there, and uh, I'll do a lot of reviews and deep dives, as well as covering this in a lot of detail here on my channel. So here we are in my Fitbit app. You can see I do have Fitbit Premium, and you can see this little camera here showing the actual watch, which is plugged in and charging here on the counter in my bathroom. So I'm going to go to the upper left here to add a new device. I'm going to say set up a device. I removed my Fitbit Versa first. That's really important. If you try to put two devices in, um, that can create syncing problems. You can see one of my, my uh, pop, most popular videos here on the channel is uh, called Fitbit Won't Sync. And the reason for that is usually that people didn't remove their old devices. So let's go ahead and add the new one in. I'm going to press uh, the sense here. And I'm going to say set up. Okay, it's going to give me a privacy notice. I'll read that later. Um, saying to let the device charge, which I am. Okay, now it's going to look and it pretty quickly found the sense. That's a good sign. I'm going to enter the four digits on the display. So I'm going to say 3987, not my pin number or anything. And now you can see on the device itself, it's starting to say that it's going to um, do this sync. And you can see connecting in the app. Looks like that's a positive outcome there, we'll see. Okay, protect the new device, so it would like me to purchase a protection plan. It's about a $350 device. Um, if you want to do that with Square Trade, I guess you can do that. I am not going to. I'm gonna live dangerously here. Let's say not now. Um, now it's gonna have me do my Wi-Fi setup. So this requires me to put in my actual Wi-Fi credentials. So I'm just gonna pause the video here um, and put that in and then I will come back after I put those in since again it's my own password and stuff. Okay so Wi-Fi is now enabled so it can connect to my Wi-Fi network. As much as I love you my viewers I'm not going to share my uh, Wi-Fi credentials with you so I just skipped over that step. I'm going to say start update. Uh, it's going to look for the device. In the meanwhile it's going to show me all the things that this can do. Um, so I can just start to tab into some of these. It can give me heart rate notifications, skin temperature, um, to see how your skin is changing in temperature at night. 24-7 um, heart rate, pretty good um, accuracy I found on that in the app, not necessarily on the watch before, so hopefully that'll be a little bit better on this one. Stress tracking and management, this EDA scan is one of the newest things here. Definitely excited to see um, how I can track variations and if I can start to correlate that with um, mood, to correlate stress levels with exercise or sleep or other kinds of things, probably with Fitbit Premium. Um, exercise and GPS, as I've shown in other videos, it does have a built-in GPS. Look at active minutes. Um, sleep tracking and sleep score. This is all pretty standard Fitbit stuff, but I'm going to get into that. And I think those new sensors are probably going to be helpful there for tracking sleep, especially skin temperature and its ECG, which does heart uh, rate uh, and a heart rate to uh, heart rhythms. Um, you see there's not really a lot of mention of that in here. I think that's because it was just approved by the FDA about a week before they shipped. They probably haven't included it in the app yet. Voice Assistant, um, you can actually use Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa to, uh, to actually make Voice Assistant requests right from your wrist with the watch. And finally, Fitbit Pay. Um, I found that doesn't work exceptionally well um, in the other watches, but uh, again, I'm hoping that with this new Fitbit Sense, we'll see better performance there. Um, I'm at 47% downloaded. I don't know why um, the little meter on the watch is trailing the actual percentage here, but so that you don't have to sit and watch this finish, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and we'll come back when it's done. Okay, we're back. The update finished and you can see we've got uh, some actual stuff on the screen now. Um, it looks like it's going to do some graphs, which is neat. Uh, it's actually synced the steps I took on my Versa before I started setting this up. It's got the time and date down, and it uh, looks like it's gonna be displaying um, sleep data right on the, uh, and heart rate data right on the 
uh, watch face, which is also pretty cool. So that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and continue here. Okay, it's going to ask me about voice privacy, saying that it's only going to record my voice when I enable a voice feature on there. That's fine. Got it. Um, it says that it includes Alexa, so I can get that set up. I'm probably going to skip that for now. Okay, now I'm going to get a tutorial apparently on changing the band. Not exactly encouraging that they're telling me how to do that already. I guess these probably wear out pretty quickly. They do provide you with a backup band uh, with the watch. So I'm going to say next. Wearing the watch, so it's telling me how to connect this. Uh, it's saying to loosen it a bit during workouts, which is usually good advice. Now it's going to show me some of the swipe gestures, things I can do to uh, interact with the UI here. Got some data here on the side button. I wasn't even aware that there was a button on here. It must be kind of like an in inductive one or something. Uh, this little slit on the side here must detect when you cover it. Kind of interesting. Um, so it does actually have a physical button, but it's not one that you actually have to press in. It's a new one. I don't think I've seen that before. This is the all-important Fitbit wear and care step, um, showing you how to clean it um, and not to wear it when it's wet against your skin. They've come, uh, they've had trouble with this before where people have gotten irritation from their Fitbits. Um, so you have to sh uh, see that. And I've done some videos about how to clean these properly. It is definitely important. And here we go. We are all set and we're off. Um, so I'm going to put this on and start to test out the features. Again, I'll cover it a lot more here on my channel. If you, if you found this useful, please subscribe. I'll also put my newsletter link uh, down in the description. So if you want to be notified when I publish new videos or stories about the Fitbit Sense, uh, please subscribe there. And um, again, a lot of my detailed reviews, deep dives, and everything are going to be at 1-0 on Medium. So visit 10.medium.com slash tomsmith585. And you can follow along with everything there as I publish them. Again, I'll push those out to my newsletter as well. So if you want to be notified the second a new one comes out or even while I'm working on it, please go ahead and subscribe to the newsletter and uh, check out my reviews and more details at 1-0. Um, thanks so much.